Hello, my name is Marsha Johnson and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator together with my grandnieces and nephew, Allie, Ashley, and Ryan. We are Marsha's Crafts. Today we are going to make this simple but elegant dandelion wishes card. I made it as a sympathy card, but today we're gonna to change it up a little bit. For stamp sets, we will need the Boca Dots stamp set. We'll be using this stamp. We'll be using Climbing Orchid, just for the sentiment, enjoy today. And we'll be using Dandelion Wishes for this image and this image. For inks, we'll use Early Espresso and Balmy Blue. For cardstock, we have Early Espresso, eight and a half by five and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. We have one piece of balmy blue for the front, and that is five and a quarter by four. And another piece, the same size, five and a quarter by four of Whisper White for the inside. And then we'll have a slightly smaller piece of Whisper White. It is three and three quarters by five for the outside. This is our stamping layer. Then you'll need an envelope. You'll need the Stamparatus, snips, glue, a bone folder, and um, a trimmer. Okay, let's get going. First thing we're going to do is bring in our Stamparatus. We're going to push this card way up in the corner and hold it with a magnet. We're going to bring in our Boca Dots stamp. And we're going to place it in the upper left-hand corner of our card. We're going to be using the Balmy Blue ink. And the trick with this particular stamp is it's a little persnickety. Um, just don't have your pad too juicy. If the pad's too juicy, it's just not going to work. Some people use a roller or a brayer or a thumb dauber, but I find it, it if it's just not too juicy, it does work pretty well. Mm, that looks, looks pretty good. Then we'll put it on and give it a good push. And that's a pretty good image for this stamp. Okay, we're gonna put that Stamparatus sheet away and take out another one. Um, this is our, our dandelion and we're gonna ink it up so that it goes just from the bottom of the image out a little bit on the left hand side across and out on the right upper side. That's how we're gonna position this one. We're gonna be using early espresso ink to ink it up. The great thing about the Stamparatus is if we don't get it quite right the first time, we get a second chance, or a third, or more. So let's move that up. That's perfect. So now we're going to put our sentiment on, and our sentiment is a um, photopolymer stamp. So to do that, we need to put the foam layer underneath our paper to give just a little bit of an extra lift for the photopolymer stamp to work because it's thinner. It doesn't have that, um, that little sponge that the other, other stamps have. And so we'll ink this up. And again, if we don't get a perfect image the first time, we can try it again. So let's see what we get. Well, that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. So let's put our Stamparatus to the side. We're finished with it. 
We just have a little bit more stamping to do with our um, balmy blue. We're finished with the early espresso. I'm just taking this little stamp, taking the envelope, and just, just give it a little decoration on the outside. Down here. There we go. And then take the inside of our card and I'm just going to put some here and then have some flying up a little further. There. And that's pretty much it for stamping. Now all we need to do is assemble our card. So first thing we're going to do is attach our balmy blue layer. To the front of the card, assuming our ink, our, our glue wants to come out. There we go. And again, the nice thing about the glue is it gives you a little second to move things around if you need to. Okay, then put our front on. And we're done. So envelope. Here's our first card. I do like it this for a sympathy card, but fortunately I don't need too many of those these days. So there it is. Thank you for stopping by. If you would like to purchase any of these products, they are available at marciuscrafts.stampinup.net. We also have, as you know, a YouTube channel and a Pinterest channel. If you would like to um, give us a thumbs up, that would be great. Or if you wanted to subscribe, that would be great also. And that about does it for our card for today. Have a great day and um, hope to see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.